has had lice or you've been warned about cases at daycares or camps this summer, you are certainly not alone. Fox 9's Mary McGuire is tracking an uptick in lice cases, Mary. Well, Randy, fair warning, this story might make you feel a little itchy, a little scratchy. It's been a busy summer for head lice, and with just weeks to go until the school year starts, it's showing no signs of slowing down. So that was kind of the process, get her checked and make sure she did or did not have it. School is out for the summer, but head lice is already spreading like crazy across metro communities. When should we come see you? Like when you're ready to be done with lice. The phone is ringing almost constantly at the Lice Lounge, a business that removes lice using all natural, pesticide free products. It's been the busiest summer we've had. Owner Jessica Fleming can't pinpoint why it's so widespread this year, but says summer camps and sleepovers provide the perfect opportunity for the insects to flourish because they spread through hair to hair contact. Even just taking a picture with a kid next to you or your friend or reading a book next to your friend um, is a really easy way to pick that up. They just crawl from hair strand to hair strand. We try to treat it at home. I comb through all of her beautiful hair and we, it wasn't still not getting any better. It usually takes about three weeks for parents and kids to notice there's a problem. And that was the case for Jessie Dahl and her daughter. She's using the experience as a teaching moment. For our kids, it's been a really good lesson of, hey, you might come across kids that have different problems and they're not gross and they're not doing anything wrong and it's actually normal. There are many misconceptions about head lice. They don't spread disease, they don't live on things like sofas or carpet, and they don't mean there's a hygiene issue. They are a pest though, and prevention is the best defense against them. Lice don't like peppermint, so using minty shampoos and sprays can help prevent them, along with tying up long hair. Buns and braids, ponytails with long hair don't really count. Now, in Minnesota, head lice infestations are not re required to be reported to the State Department of Health, and school districts can make their own policies about it, but always a good idea to do those head checks at home, especially now. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Mary McGuire, Fox 9. Yeah, Mary, we don't want to think about those things, but we have to. All right, thanks for your story.